Hi, I'm Adam Yenser, and welcome to The Cancelled News, the show with almost as many viewers as this year's Oscars. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe and comment and share it on Twitter and Facebook and make this your homepage and post a link to it on your own website. Uh, I'm trying something new this week. A lot of talk shows have sidekicks, so this week I'm debuting a sidekick of my own. Now, I'm right-leaning, so I wanted someone from the other side of the political spectrum to balance things out. So please welcome my new sidekick, Hunter Biden's laptop. <laughs> hey, Adam, it's Hunter's laptop. You wouldn't happen to have any extra crack rocks lying around, would you? <laughs> no, I don't have any crack rocks. This is going to go well. Uh, now, here's what's in the news. Joe Biden's address to Congress this week marked his first 100 days in office, so I thought we could take a moment to look at a list of all the great things he's accomplished in that time. First, he recognized the Armenian Genocide... The Oscars aired on Sunday, and this year Hollywood tried to make the Academy Awards more woke, resulting in the lowest rated Oscars in history. In fact, the only thing that was watched by fewer people was Nomadland. In the final award of the night, Anthony Hopkins beat out the late Chadwick Boseman for Best Actor. Now, typically the only people who get away with beating a dead black man in LA are cops. Whoa. It sounds like a Democrat wrote that joke. Did you slip that one in there? Maybe. <laughs> Stop snorting that. It's not cocaine, it's flour. Cocaine, flour, Parmesan cheese, who cares? The socially distanced Oscar ceremony was held in downtown Los Angeles at Union Station, and if presenters went on too long, they were played off by a vagrant banging on a trash can. There are actually reports that the city of Los Angeles moved homeless people away from Union Station before the Oscar ceremony in order to present a glitzy image on TV. They said the hardest part was distinguishing between homeless people and Francis McDormand. Speaking of California's homeless problem, the man responsible, Governor Gavin Newsom, will soon face a recall election. Similar to the 2003 recall, it's expected that many celebrities and oddball personalities will run as a publicity stunt. 2003 saw ridiculous campaigns from actors ranging from Gallagher to Gary Coleman to Arnold Schwarzenegger. One person who has already officially decided to run in the recall election is Caitlyn Jenner, and Caitlyn Jenner may not be a bad option. While Gavin Newsom let tent camps pop up all over the state, Caitlyn eliminated at least one tent. For the second year in a row, Burning Man has been canceled due to COVID. So if you want to go somewhere with weird hipsters on drugs, no laws, and giant bonfires everywhere, you'll have to settle for Portland. The Biden administration announced new COVID guidelines this week that allow vaccinated people to go maskless at small outdoor gatherings. An outdoor gathering is considered small if it's roughly the size of a Biden campaign rally. Due to a shortage of tanker truck drivers, many gas stations may run out of gas this summer. But due to fewer truck drivers coming through, they will have a surplus of Rhino 69 male enhancement pills. That's what Hunter would use to get strippers pregnant. <laughs> I bet he did. In response to a viral social media post, hundreds of guys named Josh met at a Nebraska park and battled with pool noodles to find the best Josh. In a surprise twist, the winning Josh was Tyrone. As many workplaces reopen, clashes are erupting between people who want to return to the office and people who want to continue working from home. It's basically a debate between people who don't want to wear masks and people who don't want to wear pants. I have lots of videos of Hunter not wearing any pants. <laughs> Justin Bieber has been accused of cultural appropriation for growing out dreadlocks like many black Jamaican men, and for growing a gross wispy mustache like many old Italian women. That's their culture, Justin, not yours. A controversial video became public which shows NRA Vice President Wayne LaPierre shooting an elephant in Botswana four times trying to kill it. Obviously, he should have shot it in the heart, not the Botswana. The fourth season of The Handmaid's Tale premiered this week on Hulu. For those of you who haven't seen The Handmaid's Tale, it's basically what The Hunger Games would be like if it was written by Planned Parenthood. If it weren't for Planned Parenthood, Hunter would have a whole lot more stripper babies. The New York Post corrected a false story that claimed copies of Kamala Harris's children's books were being given out to migrant children at the border. When asked about it, Kamala Harris responded, What migrant children at the border? And she laughed like a lunatic. A Missouri woman has been sentenced to 10 years... You know what? This one is too dirty. I'm going to let you do this one. A Missouri woman has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for smuggling a loaded gun into jail inside her vagina. Although she did have a seal carry permit. <laughs> that one was good for you. Hunter knows all about loose women and breaking gun laws. A dog trainer in New Zealand was disqualified after his racing dog tested positive for meth. 
It's really a sad story. Just look at these before and after pictures. Meth, not even once. That after picture reminds me of Hunter. I bet it does. Hey, Adam, let me do a joke about Mike Lindell, the pillow guy. No, you do not get to make fun of our crackhead. We only get to make fun of your crackhead. <laughs>